Hey there, it's Mark, and welcome to Trucking Tuesday on Mr. Grooves. I'm going to take a look at these Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks. These were from 2001, all the ones I'm going to show you today. These are small hubs. That's how Hot Wheels Monster Jam originally started. Let me match up the rear wheels together. This is the size that they were using at the end of the Hot Wheels run of Monster Jam trucks. You can see how the, on the right, the wheels are a little bit bigger, a little bit more of a wheelbase. Not only that, right here, when they first started, they had metal bases. And on my in my hand on the right, that's a plastic one. So these are the old style small hubs. So be aware of that. I'm going to be letting these go. I'm going to sell these on my Mr. Gru's eBay account. So if you'd like these, they will be there. I will be listing them today. So if you catch this in a week, they're probably gone. Uh, I'm going to set them up at auction. One bulk lot. I am not going to uh, piece them out one at a time. I got to make room. Got to let them go. Let me start with these first on this side. First of all, there's an M NRA logo right here. You can see the hot, not NRA, <laughs> the uh, Hot Rod Association logo right there. Well, on these over here, the logo is up here above the Monster Jam logo. It's not NRA. It's the United States Hot Rod Association, HRA, US HRA. And it, for some reason, I don't know why, but the packages I'm going to show you on this side have the logo on top. This one also has the wrestling logo right here. Nitro World Championship Wrestling Monster Trucks. So this one was actually part of the WCW set. Gravedigger, that's the one that's here. Sting, as a matter of fact, Sting, I'm going to be showing you not Sting itself, but you see the Corvette casting. So for Sting, it used the Corvette casting. Up here, you have Nitro. Is it Nitro Circus or just Nitro? I'm trying to look. It looks like it just says Nitro. And then down here, Goldberg. I won't have a Goldberg uh, this week, but in uh, very soon, I will have a Goldberg truck. Now this Nitro, the body for the Nitro, I'm pretty sure, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the Nitro used this body or not. I didn't pull up my stuff. All my stuff is containerized, so I might use this body style. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the trucks. There it is, Grave Digger. Yep, King of the Hill. Championship truck. Feld's signature vehicle. Who do I have here? Oh, let's take a look real quick at the back of these two. These two show different trucks on the back. There's a chilling villain, of course, Gravedigger. There's that uh, Vet King and Gravedigger. I think that one's the legend over here. Again, Gravedigger. Airborne Ranger. I am going to be letting one go. Predator. I'm going to show you that in a second. And uh, here is Goldberg again. A quick look at the card art for Vet King. Predator. Reptoid. And chillin' villain, a little bit too close to the camera. This package has yellowed. Now that could be due to heat or it could be due to a bad batch of plastic. Couldn't tell you for sure. It does not, I've never known it to affect the model itself or the truck itself. It's just the packaging. Uh, some of these packages are not in good condition. That's why I'm going to put them all up in one lot. Put them up at an affordable price. And let him go. Uh, it's time for these to move on to somebody else. Nice Corvette right here. I forget the actual Corvette year that it is using the body. I don't think Hot Wheels really put graphics that often in the front. Sometimes they did. Here you have Reptoid. Love the, not camouflage, or prism effect on the graphics. Did have tailgate. And the color goes up over the hood with your uh, snake eyes. Oh, we got, we got some fangs on Reptoid. Here's Predator. Had an orange chassis. Let's look at the hood. That is textured. It's not just painted. It is bumpy. Uh, I do have a loose one. 
And that's why I can let these go is because I have loose samples and I, I can let these go. And there's a close-up of the metal base. On the tailgate, watch jam, and it's hard to see, but it does look like that's the Hot Rod Association logo again. Let's take a look at Spider-Man. This, this one has the price sticker. Now you, can, now you know how much it cost back in 2001, 2002. Under $3. They're not much more. Now I think they're like $3.99, $3.97. So price has not gone up very much. The card backs are all the same on this. Oh, I did forget to mention one thing. You see how this says yellow? On that grave digger, this is actually red. Let's take a close-up of Spider-Man. When I sell these in the upcoming bulk auction, I'm going to have two Spider-Mans. That's because there's the two different variations. So you will get one of each variation. Let's try to get Spider-Man in there. Uh, you'll get, uh, not you, whoever wins, will get one of each variation. And then the one that's doubled, like this one right here, I have two of the same exact one. Uh, I'll let the nicer one go f in the auction. And in this one, I'm going to put, I'll put in another lot later on uh, in the next slot of small hub trucks. Now here's the difference. It's kind of hard to see, but if you look right here, there's no logo underneath the Marvel logo. Get a close up. Yeah, right there, SFX. That is a known variation. I don't know if it's rare or not, but that is a known variation. And the other one, it's not there. I have two Airborne Rangers, so one will be put off until a future auction. Both have this card art on the back. I believe these are considered the 2001 series, but it was trademarked or copyrighted the year before. Now you'd think I'd want to keep this for my collection since I like uh, red, white, and blue, but I, I already have a loose one and that's good enough for me. I don't have to have it in the package. You can see here on the pillar, there's the Hot Rod Association logo. Uh, it has an eagle on the front. I think that's like, uh, I don't think it's lightning bolts. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Same thing with Wolverine. I have two. One will go into this lot, and then I'll save one for the next lot of small hubs. Gravedigger, Bulldozer, Spider-Man, I already showed you that, and Wolverine's right in our hands. Black wheels, yellow small hubs. Should have metal base. Yep, sure enough. Hot Rod Association logo here, Marvel, Hot Wheels, Wolverine. This is a textured model, by the way. Check it out, it's pretty cool. Has a different design than the other trucks. And there's Wolverine's claws cast right into the tooling. X-Men logo on the roof. And we'll go ahead and let you see this angle of the hood. Uh, it was a favorite one. I bought quite a few back in the day. I like this truck. Oh, I just noticed Wolverine has the same variation. Here's one with just the Marvel logo. And the other one had the SFX logo. Yeah, I'll let them both go. The last two I'm going to show are Sudden Impact and Wild Thang. Don't forget, they will be in my Mr. Groove's eBay store. Take a look at the back. Uh, both cards are the same, but uh, actually, we haven't seen this one yet. Wild Thang, Bulldozer, Sudden Impact, which is in my hand, and Bust and Loosed. Uh, I won't have one. I don't know if it's in the next year or not. Black Wheels, kind of gray hubs. Sudden Impact. You can see the Hot Wheels logo, the Hot Rod Association logo. I'm looking at the, it looks like it's stylized. I don't know if it's a uh, cracking there because of, you know, Sudden Impact, you know. On the tailgate. Been there, crushed that. What's next? I forgot to show you Wolverine. There you go. Spider-Man. Is that brake lights? Not, I, they don't put brake lights on monster trucks, do they? Reptoid. I'm just showing them because I don't remember which ones I showed and which ones I didn't. And of course this, well I haven't shown you this one yet. Wild Thing. Pretty, pretty unique casting as far as the uh, body of the truck. Black wheels, yellow hubs, check out the teeth. There were some variations on this one, I do believe. I don't know if I, uh, I don't, didn't memorize them. Uh, there might have been actually a color, different color yellow, I'm not sure. I will be noting in the auction, the yellowed blisters. I think uh, Wild Thing has a cracked blister. You can see the hole right there. 
this one is cracked. There you go. Can you see in there? Well, you can hear it. Uh, some of them have bent cards. That's just the way it's going. That's the way they're going. And you know what? I'll go ahead and just let them go at a uh, lower price so that uh, I got to let them go. And then somebody can get them at a deal. Thank you for watching. And if you purchase anything in my eBay store, thank you very much. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.